Well done. <laughs> Go on, King. I had to get that one in. <laughs> yes, we're going to Spain a little bit earlier than probably most of you were expecting to talk about a party in uh, Catalonia. Uh, well, they're called the uh, the Iniciativa per Catalonia Verdes, which is like the initiative for the Catalonian Greens. They're effectively Catalonia's version of the Green Party. Lit. Yes, and they uh, they don't exactly want to ban Grid Girls. But they want to in, enforce a dress code and also include uh, uh, grid boys. Well. <laughs> because, uh, because, quote, uh, the, role, the role the grid girls play today in, in the circuit to Catalonia is not fitting of the 21st century. A society that aims to be modern and egalitarian. Uh... What it does is objectify and vex women with a role in which they are a simple object and an ornament of the situation. To which I say, we, well, no shit. We've had, people, <laughs> yes. we've had friends of ours, we've even said it ourselves, we've been screaming about this for, for a while now. This is nothing yeah. new to us. No. It's, it's like you're preaching to the choir here, party. But, um, yeah, carry on, King. Yeah, basically, uh, they don't control the government, the local town government, and then Montmelo, which is the town where the circuit is in. But like, uh, they're basically in a coalition with the with the Catalonian Socialist Party, which control the government. So basically, uh, it's going to happen. Yikes! So they want a dress code, and they want male models on the grid as well as female ones. Yes. I guess that's an improvement, but I still don't think that's the root of the problem here. Like, it like for me, it feels like it's an improvement, but I think it also glosses over the overall arcing point, is that I don't think human beings should be employed just to dress up and sell shit. Well, like, the, the issue is, for them to implement a full ban... They would basically they basically be locking horns with Dorna. So if they implement a full ban, Dorna could say we won't race in Barcelona. Do you think Dorna would really stop racing in Barcelona? Because that's like that's their biggest round on the calendar, Catalonia. It's up there between that and Magello, I'd argue. <laughs> well, again, they could race somewhere else in Spain for a fourth Spanish round. <laughs> True. I mean, they've already got her ref, Aragon, and her ref. Uh, I'm sorry, her ref, Aragon, and what's the other one? I'm missing Valencia as the season finale. They've already got three rounds in Spain. Um, if they want a fourth, they could always go somewhere else, I guess. They could probably um, build their own, like, Barcelona clone in some other part of the of Spain, because, let's face it, Dorna's got money. They do. Flowing out of their ears. Um, they're making bank right now, and their series is as popular as it's ever been, and again, universally beloved given how competitive this year's season has been. They're riding on the crest of the wave. However, Dorna is also probably the biggest culprit of exploiting the paddock girls and the grid girls to enhance their product. If anyone's ever subscribed to MotoGP on YouTube, for example, every round there is a paddock girls video, and it is some of the most cringe-worthy media in all of motorsports. It's... It's it's not nice, to yeah. say the least. And, and I've talked about this for years. And just the note that uh, this does apply to every race at the Circuit de Catalunya, the Circuit de Catalunya Barcelona. So it also applies to the Spanish Grand Prix. But obviously, it wouldn't be such a big of an issue for Formula One if they implemented a dress code. And basically, like it, the the biggest hanging point is that there would be a dress code. Yeah, um, which I don't think would be a problem because. When they get the clapping girls out in F1, they're all in uniform anyway. So, you know, it's that that really wouldn't bother F1 at all if that if there was a dress code implemented. So that's why, like, like, like that's why MotoGP is kind of like at the focus of this. Yeah, because MotoGP takes it one step further, really. By let's be having, let's be real, they have scantily clever made everywhere, and the teams like it. I remember back in. 2015 when Cal Crutchlow was trying to uh, unveil his new LCR bike when he joined the team they revealed it in a nightclub in London and they had women there and they were naked and they had body paint on to advertise the, the bike and it's like <sighs> really and yeah like we're the teams love this, this shit but yes, it's like we are still doing this. I, though 
I should note, the first person to publicly take a jab at this idea was not someone in MotoGP, but no, someone no. in Formula One. Who? Uh, you, you recall the, the, the podium ceremony after the race in Spain this weekend? Ah, yeah, when Lewis Hamilton inadvertently said, yeah, the goal should stay here, and I'm like... No, Lewis. <laughs> like, this is the guy that three, like, like six weeks ago in Australia was saying we need more dudes in the paddock. Way to go, Lewis. Way to go. <laughs> like, the, the PR switch must have been turned off, King. <laughs> it must have been turned off when like, he, he saw the champagne and his eyes got, got too big. Uh, yeah. Um, we, got some, we got some work to do here, folks. We got some work to do. Um, but, yeah, like... I I don't know what to make of this one, King. It's like it feels like a step in the right direction, but it also feels like it's it's like a band aid to me more than anything else. Well, again, it is a step in the right direction. It, it it's it's making sure that there are steps in the right direction. You're not going to get the massive leap forward, but it's you're supposed to always keep pushing in the right direction. True. Very true. Very right. true. Yeah. The, and the and end goal it, it, was that that adults that human beings should not really be uh, presented as objects in any form of motorsport. Um, but at female. least it's it's still better than, like, I don't know, having your, having your, I guess, human accessories or however the fuck you want to present them, uh, red girls, whatever, just having them dress like XFL cheerleaders. Ugh. I was watching that. I was watching some of their coverage the other day as part of um, OSW Reviews YouTube channel, and uh, the tagline of the commercial was "The XFL cheerleaders." Don't worry, we'll teach them how to cheer. And it's like, oh god, how very two thousand and one. Um, but yeah, like again, a step in the right direction. Very interesting that it's gone so far that a political party has pointed this out. That's big. Like I can't imagine, for example. Like the Liberal Democrats in the United Kingdom saying, "We want Grid Girls banned at Silverstone." Like I can never imagine that happening. So that's a, a, you know kind of bizarre in a sense, but still like a, 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 an interesting and good story in terms of again a step in the right direction. 